Hey everybody, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy and Plugin Review Friday, where every Friday I show you a new plugin, we walk through its feature set, and I show you how to apply it to a mix so you can make professional sounding mixes in your home studio. Okay, before we get started, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a few free gifts I want to give you that is absolutely going to help you make better music in your home studio. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Review Friday. This week, we're gonna take a look, um, a second look actually, at the um, Sound Device Digital, AKA United Plugins, Front DAW Plugin. Now we looked at this plugin about two months ago, the video is still up on the YouTube channel. This is, um, we actually compared it to the Slate Digital Virtual Console Collection in a little fun shootout. Um, this is made, um, intended to be made to be put across all of your tracks as like the front of a console, the preamp section of a console to give you some of, that, some of that console feel and vibe and mojo. And when we looked at that plugin back then, Front DAW, I had said it sounds really great. The problem with that particular version is that it did not have a way to, um, as you were boosting the input to drive more saturation and color into the plugin, there was no way to compensate for the output so you can level match the plugin. It was a big complaint of mine and apparently some others as well. And one thing that I love um, about uh, United and uh, Sound Device Digital uh, Company is that they actually listened to their users. They actually saw my video, reached out to me and told me that myself and others who had reviewed this plugin and had that complaint and they actually went back to the drawing board and put an output uh, gain reduction here so you can level match the plugin, which we'll take a look at here in a second. So kudos to them. Now, before we get started, I wanna let you know that this is a sponsored video in that um, they did not pay me to do this video, but they did give me this plugin as well as some other of their plugins that I found interesting on their website for free. The licenses were to me for free, so I can do some video reviews for them. However, um, as you guys know, if you've been following me for any length of time, um, companies do not tell me what I can and can't say about the plugin. They never suggested I should say anything other than my honest opinion. And that's why I would, will always give you guys, regardless of a company wants me to say specific things or tries to direct me in any way, shape or form, I simply don't review their product. So um, you will get an honest, unbiased opinion, regardless of the plugin was free to me or not. So I want to make sure that you understand that up front. Also, um, if I like some of their plugins as we're doing the reviews, they're also going to give me uh, and us some uh, plugin license licenses that I can give away to some of my members over at my mixing membership website, mixingmadeeasy.net. We do a monthly mixing contest and you have a chance to win some of their plugins, including this one. So check the links below in the description box if you want to know what mixingmadeeasy.net is all about. So thank you so much, United Plugins and Sound Device Digital as well. I do appreciate it. So now let's take a look at the plugin. So a couple of things I like about this plugin right out of the gate. Number one, in the bottom right hand corner, whoops, you can, whoops. Hold on. Resize the interface. Very nice. Same on the old version. They did that. This is great. I love it. Real simple plugin to use. You have an input here in blue. You have three selected consoles, a British, a US, and a German console. You can kind of tell what that probably means. We have a high pass uh, filter here as well we can use. Down here in red, we have the magic mojo button. They don't say it's magic, I say it's magic. Adds a lot of saturation and some color and some mojo to the mix. And then last but not least, the thing that's the new addition here is the output volume gain level control. So as you boost the input to hit more signal into the plugin, you can turn down the output to compensate. Wonderful, that's what we wanted the first time around. Great job, that's awesome. At the top here, they have a bunch of presets? Yes, they do. A bunch of presets here that you can check out as well. Now, again, as I said, the way this plugin is really intended to be used is to put it across all your tracks. What I've done here is I put it across a completely unmixed song, not even a real static mix, to be honest. I put it across all the buses here. And I like to use plugins on something on completely raw audio so you can hear exactly what the plugin is doing to the unprocessed audio as opposed to putting it on a finished mix. Okay, on a more finished mix, it would be a little bit more subtle, which is totally cool, but I want you to be able to hear the plugin as much as possible. So let's start on our drums here. And we have front DAW here. We play back our drums. Okay, we have this. 
the logo up here at the top, it flashes uh, as we turn up the input and hit the plug-in harder. And then we could turn down the output to compensate. We could bypass it. Okay, so we're at the same volume level. We could cycle through some of the, here's the British. USA, German, a little bit tonal characteristic difference. Okay, we have our high pass filter here. Okay. So if you didn't want the if you didn't want the very low of the kick drum or the bass kind of affecting the way this works, you could always dial this up, but I like to keep it all the way off. And then we have our mojo. No mojo. The most mojo. It's before. After. That's how you use the plugin. Now again, on one bus, one track, it's gonna be very subtle. The whole point of this is to do this across all the tracks, which I did here, as I said. Now I'm gonna make sure we level match all of these. So let's start with our bass here. Let's just make sure we're level matched. More input. Drive this thing a little harder. Okay, let's go to our acoustics. And then we'll do them all together. Okay, electrics. Not a lot of electric guitar in this track. Okay, and then we'll go to our piano. Oh, this one's not resized. Again, you can just drag it. Okay, level matched. Ah, we'll do the lead vocal. See if we can avoid a copyright claim. Bring back the light. Where is the pleasure in the pain? Come on. Where is my shelter in the rain? Okay, now that we got them all level matched quickly, let's go ahead and let's, uh, oops, let's do that and let's turn that down. Let's get rid of all the mutes and let's listen to the whole thing. And then I'll bypass the plugins in one clean swoop here. I know the season's right for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. It's tapping me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? That's before. Where will my heart come back to After. Life? Okay, so that's a little bit louder. Could have did a little bit better level matching, but you get the idea. Now, the one thing I will say about this plugin that could still be an improvement if somebody's watching from the company, this is great that you have an output. It would be great because you have to, you're supposed to put these across all your tracks. And we only put them on what, five, six tracks here. It would be nice if you had a group button, meaning that if I can group them together. So let's say on the drum bus, if I want them all on the British console, and then I want to switch between that and let's say the German console, when I switch it on one, it switches it on all the instances, something like the Slate Digital Virtual Console Collection. So if you had a group, but a way to group these or link these, because I don't think you can do that. Let me just double check that before I speak out of turn here. 
Uh, if, yeah, so if I were to click one, yes, if I only change one, the other ones don't change. It would be nice to have that option. Um, and also, um, you can do the same thing where you may, if you, maybe if you just linked the consoles, you don't have to link the rest of the controls, although that would be nice too. So you had the same amount of mojo on all the tracks, but maybe you want a little less or more mojo depending on the track itself. But at least the, the ability to ad audition all of the consoles as a group together so you can really hear the differences i think that would be very very helpful especially because this is designed to be put on multiple tracks so let's say you had 40 instances of this across your entire mix you'd have to go in and want to change them you'd have to go manually and change each one of the consoles so that would be another improvement that if you know the boys are watching and they want to make another improvement for their next release it would be nice to have just a button up here that just groups them together i don't think you can do that right i don't i didn't see that in the manual if if i'm wrong and someone from the company is watching leave comments below and let me know but that would be it but outside of that i think it's a really good plug and i said it in the first review now um again at that time i like the vcc better because at a a few more features it had a few more consoles um and so i and, and because it had the level matching the input output thing um i chose that one over this but now that this has the output um again if you don't have the virtual console collection and you're looking for something really simple that doesn't take a lot of cpu that you could throw on all your tracks to give you some of that nice analog flavor before you even start your mix this is a great plugin to check out uh for sure and if they add the other feature with the linking i think this would be a, a real winner um here that you can uh, that you can use something simple and easy and you don't have to have a subscription to the slate digital package just to get the virtual console collection you could just buy this as a one off plugin. So I hope you enjoyed our first, our second look actually at the front DAW by Sound Device Digital. Thank you so much guys for sending me the plugin. And again, you can check out mixingmadeeasy.net to have an opportunity to win this plugin for yourself. But the link for the plugin will be in the description box below. So you could go out to their website, you could demo the plugin, you can purchase the plugin and or you could try all their other plugins as well. We'll be doing lots of demos, uh, probably another half a dozen of their plugins, as I said earlier in the video. So I want to thank you so much for watching this entire video. I want to give you a free gift if this is your first time here. I want you to head over to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I want to give you five free pro tips to a professional sounding mix, a nice little cheat sheet, some nice hidden gems in there that most people don't talk about. You could download it for free today at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I also want to give you a coupon code if you'd like to purchase one of the courses on my website. 25% off any course, use the coupon code YouTube25. It'll take 25% off at checkout. We have courses on recording, mixing, and mastering all on the website. And if you're a Studio One user, we have the largest collection of Studio One specific training courses, perfect for beginners and intermediates and people new to PreSona Studio One. So check that out as well. And until next plug-in review Friday, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and MixingMadeEasy.net. Let me know what you think of this plugin in the description box or in the comments below, and I will talk to you next plugin review Friday. Take care, everybody.